never realized how everyone else seemed to know things about you that you barely ever notice yourself. I mean, if you talk funny, or have a tendency not to look at people in their eyes, or maybe you walk in a bouncy way, or you always leave things for the last minute, or you're losing hair from the top of your head. You might surely know these things about you, but believe it or not, many people, and I'm including people you barely know, like possibly the barmaid at the corner cafe, have probably noticed these things way before you did. And if not these ones, probably others that you still have to catch this up with. This is Valletta's main road, Republic Street. I have to give a speech. The latest thing I discovered about myself in the past weeks is how scruffy I have become. To discover the real Valletta, you have to go more to the sides and discover the little narrow street. You have the old, the new, the forgotten, the corporate, everything one next to each other. It's such an amazing place. This is one of the many little gems that are hidden in the narrow streets of Valletta. Everything has been kept like it was in 1965. Ciao. Thank you. In the past few months, Abby, M, and I had been working on a project. Along with 45 primary school children of year 6, we have written and illustrated a book containing three very creative short stories. We're going to Valletta. The presentation's in the seat of government. You can't go in shorts and crocs. There's going to be ministers, there's going to be official people all wearing suits. You can't go dressed like that. Oh. No scrappy clothes! Abby, Emma and I and the 45 children with their parents, teachers and headmaster we had all reached Valletta and everything was going fine when this happened. No! Now if you're thinking that these shoes are cheap quality, then you're wrong. They're fine leather and once belonged to my great 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 uncle. <laughs> left behind nothing else but these shoes. Valletta, which the Maltese call El Bel, meaning the city, is the capital of Malta and the UNESCO heritage site. She was named after the French grandmaster Jean Parisot de la Vallette. This guy here. Hello, Lisa Shoe. We did a shoe shopping since she last year. Yeah. No. no. I'm very happy with my new shoes. <laughs> Every balcony seems to tell a story. So many different stories. So many beautiful balconies. Look at this one here. School of Art. That's a good place. My personal favorite, beside the balconies, are these old shop signs, just like this one behind me. The kind of story you need, a good setting, some characters, protagonists, and a good plot. In this story, in this project, we have 45 protagonists. Okay, first you have to sign it. Hey, you need to sign it too. Don't, don't, don't forget. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. Can you repair these? This is cardboard. Okay, this my good. Gonna hold cardboard. You see that? Okay. No word. No, no good. Whenever going to fill up, to make sure that your shoes <laughs> don't fall apart or carry or carry glue with you. Can you make me less scruffy? If you liked my video, make sure you like and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. See you next week.